Hi, I'm Kevin O'Connor, co-founder of Lioka Wine Company, and you are watching Understanding Wine with Austin Beeman. It really means that um, you have an environment that you make wine in, and then those grapes come into the winery. So on those grapes, you have yeasts, all right? They're on the grapes themselves. They, they're, they're there from the very beginning. And your environment has yeasts, um, because uh, even an environment that doesn't have winemaking has yeast, I mean, thus making bread, right? There's yeast in the air, which allows the, the dough to rise. Um, the, the thing about natural yeasts, as opposed to, you know, taking in grapes and hitting them with sulfur to kill everything, and then inoculating to induce fermentation with a yeast strain or a cultured yeast, um, is a very sort of manipulative, uh, heavy-handed, in our philosophy, way of making wine. Wine is made from grapes. Grapes are fruit. Um, it's, it's food. Um, you know, if you let grapes and any other fruit rot, it's going to ferment at some point. So it's a natural process. Once you pick it off the vine, you're killing it. It's dead. It's, it's, and it transforms into this other um, biochemical process. Um, and when you allow a grape to naturally ferment, you're really allowing it to ferment in its own sort of sense, and its own speed. Um, you could have, and I'd like to sort of dispel a lot of things about this, because there's a lot of misconceptions. You know, you could have a, an alpha yeast in your environment that's going to win that yeast battle. Um, so, you know, wild yeast and natural yeast, ambient yeast, feral yeast, whatever term you use, you know, you've got to really monitor your environment and see what's going on. In a winery where a lot of different grapes are coming in, there's a lot of grapes being processed, there's going to be a sort of a, 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 sort of a biochemical warfare in that winery. So you have to be really on top of the activity in your winery. And we are. And we continue to. And um, I think it's... Um, there's, there are certain risks in, in, in that. So if you're not on top of what's happening in your, your environment, um, you're, this wild yeast thing really has no, has no, uh, no meaning, really. So you have to just you know, figure out what's going on. So um, it's, it's, if, if you have a, a dominant yeast strain, that's going to dominate most of the grapes that come into your winery if you're going natural. So this is why a lot of winemakers don't want to deal with this environmental issue. And they're all going to just basically dial in this, this culture for this lot or this cuvee and this one for this one. And they just want to sort of be a little bit more in control. And I understand that because, you know, it's very important to keep things consistent. And if you're building a brand, you want to do it consistently. Um, we've always been a little bit... Um, more confident in watching other things and not having to go down that road of really killing all the bacteria and all the uh, everything on the grapes and inoculating, you know, and for, for a specific, uh, you know, uh, uh, fermentation. Um, we, we've 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 worked with a lot of the vineyards uh, year in and year out, so we kind of know how they perform through fermentations, and that's an important thing. You learn a lot after you use one vineyard after a year or two, just the way it, the way it ferments on its own. And, and, and all these lots are fermented separately, so we know how they perform from vineyard to vineyard and vintage to vintage. Um, and it's really just about being informed about the material you're using and the environment that you're working in. So that's much more a factor in this wild yeast fermentation craze that's going on. And there's a lot of things about natural wine that should be dispelled, and I encourage your viewers and every other wine drinker to do research on it and get a, an informed opinion because it's not just about one way.